Guess who's back? What's up guys, it's Ramsey back with more unboxings and oh my god, it's been a crazy quarantine. I thought I was going to just make a bunch of content. Unfortunately, I've been busy doing, I guess, saving my businesses. But look at all the stuff that piled up during that time. Also, during that time, I did film some content, but it's so out of date now, I never had a chance to edit it. So here we are, tons of boxes. I'm not gonna open them up all at once. I'm gonna pick a few and break this up into, I guess, several segments. But, man, I have some really cool stuff and I can't wait, can't wait, can't wait to dig into this. All right, guys, so we're gonna concentrate on these boxes that I got in from CGC. What did I send out? I have no idea, but I did send them to Gary Kendra from impressivecomicbooks.com to get cleaned and pressed and they're probably looking really beautiful but I'm gonna use the Sword of Conan to open them up, whoa, uh, a little too close there. Let me see if I can do this without destroying what's inside. Whoa, that actually worked pretty good. All right, thank you. I think that was his father's sword or something. Sword of Atlantis maybe, something like that. All right, so this is how CGC sends their stuff. Nice little box, bubble wrapped to prevent damage. All right, whoa, we're gonna start with Amazing Spider-Man, number 40 from 1966. This is one of those classic covers that every Spider-Man fan needs to own. It's not super, super expensive, and this one came back a 6.5, but man, this looks so, so clean. Uh, I can see a little stain right here on the back, but overall 6.5, this makes Ramsey very happy. All right guys, so excuse the sweat. Our air condition went off this morning and it is hot as balls in here. Can I say balls? It's probably all dudes watching this anyway. Hot as balls in here, so you know what I'm talking about. So I'm sweating up a storm, but okay. So next on the list, Fantastic Four number 50, and yes, this looks pretty good too. This was wrinkled to hell, and Gary really did straighten it out. You can see uh, some of the corners are missing, uh, but overall, 6.5, really excited to have this in my collection. Hell yeah, Silver Surfer Battles Galactus, Johnny Storm goes to college, wow. First appearance of Wyatt Wingfoot. So, classic Kirby cover, love it. All right, and the third one is Batman 251, another classic cover by Neil Adams, and this came back a 7.5. Again, wrinkled all to hell when I sent it over to Gary, and man, he was able to really straighten that out. Obviously, any, any color breaks in the cover, that can't really be fixed, but the wrinkles around it can be taken out, and that does, does count for something. 7.5. Beautiful, beautiful cover. I'm so happy this came back at such a high grade. Very lucky. All right, so let's dig into this next box, but I'm not gonna use the Conan sword. All right, we're gonna use a nice little sharp blade, get it done quick. Okay, so now we've dug into the bigger box with the rest of my slabs, and what do we have here? but something really cool and really rare, an Eternals number one. So Eternals is the next movie, well, I think Black Widow's coming out next, but one of the next movies in the pipeline for Marvel Comics, and this is the first appearance and origin of the Eternals, and this is even rarer because of this little thing right here. The majority of these came out at 25 cents. And what Marvel did is they decided to try a higher price point to see if it would fly in certain markets. And supposedly, uh, South Texas was one of those markets. This one is the 30 cent variant, and it was beat to hell. And wow, 
I can't believe how clean he was able to get out a lot of the wrinkles and get me a 7.0. This is, this is insane. I thought it was going to come back like a 4 or 5. Oh, all right. So here's yet another, another cool one. This is Saga number one from Image Comics. This came out in 2012 and it came back a 9.8. So this is probably the highest grade that any comic book collector sending something to CGC can kind of realistically get. Anything higher than this is really hard. But uh, Saga, number one, by Brian K. Vaughn and Fiona Staples. Such a great concept, great story. Uh, Brian K. Vaughn also is the author of uh, Why the Last Man. Uh, Pride of Baghdad is another really good one that you got to read. But Saga is really good and this is a white cover so it stains very easily but man this looks really 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 sharp and what do we have here oh speculation time so right before the coronavirus shutdown uh, a batman issue came out number 89 with the first cameo appearance of a new character called punchline and uh, so we don't know too much about her, but this was her first cameo appearance, meaning she just kind of came out uh, for a panel or two, not a full appearance. And so anyway, people went crazy for this and all of a sudden uh, the Batman books were, were picking up steam again at my comic book store where they had been kind of going downhill after the fiasco wedding issue that didn't happen. Um, the, well, basically, Batman was going to marry Catwoman and she left him at the altar and everybody was expecting a wedding and it didn't happen. So everybody was was really upset, especially comic book stores like me who ordered a ton of copies because people were like, I want the Batman wedding only to have it leaked, you know, a week before that there was no wedding and then nobody bought the issues. Wah, wah, wah. Anyway, so thank you, DC. So Batman 89, here we go. Sent it to get pressed, came back a nine point eight really good nine point eight i kind of expected that but cool so this next one is one of my favorite artists he did this cover his name is adam hughes so this is spider gwen number one from 2015 this was a one in 100 issue so for every hundred issues of the regular spider gwen title that we ordered as a comic book store we could get one of these and so they're much rarer than the other ones. And it is such a great cover. And all the people on the Facebook groups said there's no way. I, I sent, I put close up pictures. I was like, hey guys, what do you think? Do you think it's gonna be a 9.8? And I was like, no way, it looks terrible. It's gonna be a 9.0. You're lucky if you get a 9.2. And lo and behold, 9.8. So that just goes to show, don't always listen to the people in the group. Some of those guys are really helpful. Some of them are assholes. Wow, really cool. And not only did I have one, but didn't want to go two, 9.8 also. So anyway, like I said, Adam Hughes, uh, one of my favorite artists, he, he draws amazingly. And I got two Spider-Gwen one in 100 variants, 9.8. Now here's another really cool comic book. It's the Spawn Thanks issue. And this was sent to retailers as a thank you. So you can see it kind of uh, uh, parodies the Amazing Spider-Man 300 first appearance of Venom. But it's got Spawn jumping in the hole. I guess is that a hole? Camera lens? I don't know what it is. So a really cool issue. And it's got a nice silver foil on the logo. And in the back it has Spawn. Same picture of Spawn but really big. And he's saying thanks to all the retailers for making Spawn a success. But really, it's you guys who buy the comics. Well, I guess it's kind of both of us. So, all right, you can thank me too. But he thanked me by sending me this. And this is really, really cool that it came back a 9.8. Wow, super clean, super nice. Definitely going into my CGC collection. All right, and we've got one more comic book. And so this one, oof, I just saw that grade is New Mutants 87. It's the first appearance of a character named Cable. I sent it in because 
the colors were so vibrant and I was like, wow, man, this has to come back at least a 9.6, but it did not. Let's be realistic for a minute. It came back a 9.4. White pages, not too bad, probably not worth sending at that point to get pressed, you know, plus the shipping to get it to Gary, plus the pressing fee, plus the shipping from there to CGC, plus the CGC cost, probably not worth it at the end. I'm probably upside down on this. Maybe I can wait it out till he comes back into the Marvel U and you know, the Marvel uh, movie universe. And maybe then it'll, it'll see a, a little bit of a, of a pickup in price. But yeah, I probably spent 50 bucks, maybe 60 bucks all in all, plus whatever I spent on the comic. And in a 9.4, maybe only worth maybe 100 bucks or something like that. So I kind of lost on this one. Really hoping for a 9.6, maybe 9.8. But yeah, it did not, did not happen. The universe said no! Like, no! No, Ramsey, you will not have your first cable, 9.8. And oh well, I guess. All right, guys, so don't forget to subscribe. Also, right now, I'm going to give something away to you guys that I've been promising to give away for a while. It is the Hasbro G.I. Joe Classified Series Snake Eyes. Cost more than your house! action figure and I'm gonna pick somebody right now don't go anywhere so all you had to do was comment on the unboxing video of snake eyes here for a chance to win one of these and I said I would get it done by the middle of May unfortunately the pandemic kind of you know caught me off guard and I couldn't finish the videos but to make it up to you I'm not just gonna give you one I'm gonna give you two 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 to two lucky winners in the comment section. I'm going to screen record this to make sure that you guys can see what I'm doing and that it's fair. Here goes, start. Oh, oh, look at all those names flying across the screen. Oh, this is not, by the way, uh, sponsored by Audible, as the ad says. Alejandro Cantu, you are the first winner of the G.I. Joe Classified Snake Eyes, make sure you hit me up in the comments, send me a message, and I will get this to you. All right, pick another winner. I'm gonna hit it, start, and hopefully it's not the same guy. <laughs> All right, look at those names flying across. John Cortez, Alejandro and John, congratulations. You guys are the winner of these exclusive G.I. Joe Classified Series Snake Eyes from Hasbro Pulse. They sold out everywhere. Everybody wants them, but guess what? You two have them. Congratulations, I'm gonna send these out to you and everybody else. If you wanna win something, all you gotta do is subscribe and leave a comment down below. You have to participate. And if you comment on this video, five lucky winners are gonna win something cool. One lucky winner will win a Batman number 90, first appearance of the designer, first print. This is already on a second print. They're probably going on a third print already. You're gonna get a first print. And four other winners will get the Kaboom Comics exclusive Walking Dead number one, only 500 printed, and four of you guys are gonna have one of these. So all you gotta do is one, subscribe, two, like this video, and three, make sure to comment down below. You can comment whatever you want. You love the video, you hated the video, you wanna win something, you hate Ramsey, I don't care. Comment something and you have a chance to win. So thank you guys so much. We will catch you next time. I have so many more boxes to unbox, so make sure you tune in. Oh, by crumb, I need four things from you. I need you to subscribe. I need you to hit that bell button. I need you to hit that like button, and I need you to comment on the videos that are in this playlist right here and hit this subscribe button now! Wow, that was insane, right? No, <laughs>